Look, I'm going to be straight with you. Installing Linux and thinking you're suddenly anonymous? That's like changing your shirt and expecting nobody to recognize your face. I see this all the time. People switch from Windows, feel like hackers for five minutes, and then nothing changes. They're still logged into Google Chrome, still using the same passwords from 2015, still clicking accept all cookies because reading is hard. Here's what nobody wants to admit. Linux doesn't make you private. You make you private. Linux just gives you the tools. It's like buying a gym membership and wondering why you're not ripped yet. It is like buying a gym membership and then wondering why you were not ripped after a week. So let's talk about what actually matters. First up, your DNS is snitching on you right now. Every website you visit, your internet provider sees it. They're building a nice little diary of your life. Oh, look, he Googled how to cook rice at midnight again. Third time this week. Fix encrypted DNS. Takes literally two minutes. But most people can't be bothered because it involves typing commands, and apparently that's scary now. Next, your hard drive. If someone steals your laptop right now, they own everything on it. Your photos, your documents, that folder you definitely don't want anyone seeing. Yeah, that one. Full disk encryption should have been step one. But nope, you were too busy picking the perfect desktop wallpaper. Now browsers. Oh man, browsers. This is where it gets ridiculous. You installed Firefox, changed the theme to dark mode, and called yourself a privacy expert. Meanwhile, you're still signed into Facebook in another tab. Here's what actual privacy looks like. You need different browsers for different things. One for banking, one for social media, one for random browsing. Keep them separated like you're running a covert operation, because honestly, you should be. And cookies. Stop accepting them like they're free samples at Costco. You don't need them. The website will work fine without tracking your every move. Then there's passwords. Let me guess. You use the same password everywhere with maybe a different number at the end. Password 123 for email. Password 124 for Netflix. Congrats. You've basically left every door in your house unlocked and just moved the welcome mat slightly. Get a password manager. Use randomly generated passwords. Enable two-factor authentication. I know it's annoying. I know it takes an extra five seconds. But you know what's more annoying? Getting hacked. And here's the part that'll make you uncomfortable. If you're dumping everything into Google Drive or iCloud, you haven't escaped anything. You just traded Microsoft spying for Google's spying. It's like switching from Coke to Pepsi and thinking you quit sugar. Privacy isn't about being invisible. It's about being forgettable. Making yourself just annoying enough to track that companies go, A, not worth it, and move on to easier targets. But here's where everyone screws up. They try to do everything at once. They spend six hours reading forums, get overwhelmed, and quit. Then they're back on Windows within a week, telling everyone, Linux is too hard. It's not too hard. You're just impatient. Start small. Encrypt your DNS today. Set up disk encryption tomorrow. Fix your browser situation next week. You don't need to become a privacy monk overnight and stop following tutorials from 2009. Half that stuff doesn't even work anymore. Linux changes. Tools update. That forum post with 47 steps probably outdated. The truth is, perfect privacy doesn't exist. Someone, somewhere, can probably find you if they really want to. But that's not the point. The point is making it expensive and time-consuming enough that you're not worth the effort. You're not hiding from the FBI. You're hiding from advertisers who want to sell you protein powder because you watched one gym video. Make sense? So stop overthinking it. Stop waiting for the perfect privacy setup. Start with something, anything. Because right now, you're basically walking around naked wondering why everyone's staring.